Hello, hello, everyone. Jennifer Jimenez here, the founder of our Brave Thinking Institute Health and Wellbeing Division. I hope you are having a fabulous day and you are feeling energized. Many of our health uh, experts and studies are saying that sitting is the new smoking. And one of the reasons for that is in order for our lymph system, which is the system that cleanses and clears out all the toxins in our body, needs our muscles and the movement of our muscles to cleanse our system. And so movement is absolutely so crucial. And I know if you're like me, so much of our work these days is done digitally. So we're behind our labs, laptops and our desks more than ever before. And so my live stream today is directed towards helping you feel more energized, more vibrant, more fit, and more fabulous in less time. And I'm going to be helping you discover the three fun ways to infuse your fitness with more fun, right? Because who doesn't want to feel... Let me say it this way. I know so many of the clients that I work with, particularly if they're repatterning, moving their body less and knowing intuitively, knowing logically that they want to move their body more, but they just either have the excuse that they don't have time or they feel too busy or they just don't have the energy in the morning or at the end of the day. And so I'm going to be providing some fun tips for you. We're actually working with the acronym FUN, F. U and so if you have a pen and a piece of paper, go ahead and pull that out. So the first letter is F, which stands for find what you love versus forcing what's unnatural. So if what you love is just to get outside and enjoy the nature and just maybe even walk around the block, you can let that be enough. You don't have to feel like you got to go to the gym and you know, pump out 20 push-ups and 15 jumping jacks and a bunch of burpees and lunges that you don't find fun. So oftentimes we resist what we feel is unnatural or what we feel is forceful. So tip number one with using our acronym FUN, the letter F, is to find what you love, okay? Our tip number two, working with our acronym FUN, F-U-N, the letter U, is to unlock more energy in less time versus the all or nothing approach. So my philosophy as a health and well-being expert and a mentor and coach to thousands all over the world to help them feel more vibrant, energized, healthy, and fit is this idea that, okay, I, I understand there may be some days where we feel like we don't have the time. Whether we actually have it or not is simply a perception and oftentimes a paradigm. So my rule of thumb with clients that are really wanting to make this shift and to infuse and install more movement and more energy into their life, but they feel like they don't have time, is that we're going to unlock more energy in less time versus all or nothing. So it's this this concept of the five minute rule. Five minutes of movement is better than no movement at all. So literally we could just get up and stretch. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Join me. If you're sitting watching this video, maybe you're on your mobile device, let's go ahead and take just 60 seconds right now. Let's take a nice deep breath, breathing in. Stretch those arms up. Tickle the clouds. Now reach one arm down and one arm up. You can't see my palm, but I'm pressing the ceiling and pressing the floor. Now breathe in, bring your hands right to your heart, breathing in. Now press the opposite direction, the opposite arm and hand. We're actually balancing our left and right brain, breathing in. Exhale, press, breathe in. Exhale, press, and maybe just stretch to the side, stretch to the side. How about you roll down and touch your toes and slowly roll back up, roll those shoulders three times. How good does that feel, right? Just to take a couple minutes, get up and stretch that body. If every hour you take just a minute, 90, I think that was 90 seconds and stretch your body, you will feel, I guarantee you, 10 times more energized at the end of the day than if you go hours sitting with your butt glued to your chair. So even if you don't feel like you have that 90 minutes for the yoga class or the, the however long it takes you to get to the gym and however long it takes you to work out, we're going to 
press the pause button on those paradigms and we're going to say, I've got five minutes and I'm going to move my body at least for five minutes today, at least for five minutes. And then the third tool that is our acronym we're working with, the letters F-U-N, because we're infusing our fitness with more fun. So our last letter is the letter N and it stands for nourish the body with fun and play versus the no pain, no gain, whipping it into shape. So this is a, a trending concept right now in the fitness world that we're going back to the things that we love to do when we were children. So if you think about if you were into sports, maybe you played basketball, maybe you played football or you played tennis. Um, maybe if you were like me, you swung on the monkey bars or did jump roping or dancing, um, playing, jumping, you know, uh, you know, what do you call it? trying to remember what's on the playground, but you get the point, right? Playing with balls, you know, playing sports. So there are simple, fun ways to actually infuse just natural movement um, with more fun and playing, playing games. Maybe, you know, just go, go to the local store and buy a basketball and go out in front of your house and just, you know, bounce that ball and do some drills and have some fun. I have a, a hula hoop right over here in the corner. Oftentimes I'll just get that hoop going and play some music. My favorite fun fitness method is dancing by far. Um, I grew up as a dancer. I became a professional modern dancer and then I found conscious dance. And what I love about conscious dance is the difference between mindless movement and mindful movement. Because here at Brave Thinking Institute, we believe in people and we know that each one of us is far more powerful and we contain so much more potential than any circumstance, situation, or condition. We believe we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so in my early years as an athlete and as a dancer, some of the messages that I was taught was that this body is just to be shaped and to be carved and to be trained and to be oftentimes not listened to, to push past the pain. And what I've learned as now a transformational coach, a mind, body, spirit expert, and someone that desires to be healthy, fit, and energized it well into her 90s and beyond is that my body has an innate inner wisdom. My body is wired for vibrant, radiant health. And that I have a spiritual blueprint within me connected to this inner physician within and this, this body wisdom that is talking to me that is sending me signals, that is leading me towards my most vibrant, healthy self. And so to remind us of our acronym, F-U-N, what I have learned that has absolutely transformed my health, my well-being mentally, emotionally, and physically, as well as spiritually, is to find what I love, is to do movement that I love. So I go hiking and I take my dogs out for a walk and I spend time in nature and I practice yoga and I do conscious dance and all the things that fill me and fill my chalice with energy. Number two, the U is to unlock more energy in less time versus the all or nothing mentality. So even if I'm doing, you know, an event where we're, we're up at 5 a.m. and we're out at 10 or 11 p.m. and I don't feel like I have the time. And by the way, at our events, we are infusing five minutes of movement every so often so that we keep our bodies energized. But I will do at least five minutes. I'll say, you know what I'm going to do before I go to bed or in the middle of my day, I'm just going to infuse my day with some stretching or I'll walk outside, get some fresh air, or I'll do five minutes of dancing. So at least five minutes, that five minute rule. And then our tip number three is to nourish the body with fun and play versus no pain, no gain. So what did you used to love as a kid? What did you love to do? And can what can you do to easily simply bring more of that back into your day, your week, and your month? So that movement, fitness is infused with fun, infused with a sense of play because we all could use a little more fun and a little more play. And guess what? Spirit loves fun. Spirit loves fun. So we want to be connected with that 
mind, body, and spirit, because we want to be, and we are looking for health in all areas, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. And I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes by Ruth St. Dennis, who is the grandmother of modern dance. And Ruth St. Dennis said that our bodies are a transmitting, a receiving and transmitting station for all of life. So this isn't just dead flesh to be carved and chiseled so that we can look a certain way that the magazines tell us we should look. But this is a wise inner being that is wired for wellness, wired for optimal health. And when we align with that inner wisdom and we have fun in fun ways that we love to move, we really can create the vibrant, healthy life that we love. So I hope you have a fantastic day. And my encouragement is to take these three tips and infuse your fitness with much more fun. Think bravely, act boldly, and accomplish brilliantly. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.